Hey everybody, Jeffrey Way here. Welcome back to Code Igniter from Scratch Day 3. Today, at the request of some of our users, we're going to take a look at how to send emails with Gmail with attachments uh, using Code Igniter and the email class. So this is going to be pretty fun. You'll find it's so much easier to do so than using just raw PHP. So, before we get started, please take a look at our Plus program if you have a chance. For $9 a month, you gain access to exclusive downloads, uh, screencasts, tutorials, lots of really great stuff from the entire Touch Plus network, including uh, PSD Touch, Vector Touch, Audio Touch, and us. So, something to take a look at. If you're interested, just click on the Learn More and Sign Up link here. It's $9 per month. Okay. So this is where we left off in day two. If you're just now joining us, don't worry. You don't need to know anything about the previous days other than the skills you should have acquired. Uh, basically, I've taken this the CodeIgniter day two folder and renamed it to day three. However, uh, I'm just using doing that uh, just to make things a little bit easier. We're not going to use any of the files that we used in day two. So if you're brand new, let's dig in. All right, I'm going to open up my application folder, and we have our config folder and our controllers. I'm going to create a new controller, and I'm going to call this email.php. And this is where we're going to set up our email functionality, all right? So create a new opening tags. Uh, last week, some of you asked me why I got rid of the closing PHP tags. Uh, it's a best practice uh, with PHP in general, but CodeIgniter does recommend it. And basically, it gets rid of any white space issues that you might encounter. Okay, uh, when you have a file where it's all PHP, uh, don't worry about it. Just leave off the closing. It's not necessary, and it is considered a best practice. So let's create a new class. It's going to be called. Uh, we'll just say um, sends email with peach with uh, Gmail. And the class name is going to be called email. That needs to be uppercase. It's going to extend the controller. And the construct function is a uh, it's a PHP 5 term. It's a function that runs as soon as the class is instantiated. Uh, you might see, if you're reading CodeIgniter tutorials, this function will just be called email. It'll have the exact same name as the class, and that's how PHP 4 takes care of it. However, it still recognizes uh, PHP 5, so if you want, which I'm going to do here, just keep it as underscore underscore construct. All right? uh, there's not going to be any arguments, and here, for now, we're just going to make sure that it's referencing uh, the controller class. So we're going to do parent controller, like so. We'll go into more uh, detail on this in future screencasts. So now let's go ahead and create our index function. And the first thing that we want to do here is just set up some configuration options. All right, so let's do config, and we'll set that up as an array. And the first one we're going to do is uh, some of these you can find all in the CodeIgniter user guide. Just go to the email class to view all of the options that you have here. So if you, even if you forget these, don't worry. Just go to the user guide and uh, remember. So the protocol is uh, how we're going to send it. We're going to be using SMTP because we're using Gmail. Uh, the next one is SM. Whoops. The next one is SMTP host. Uh, this one actually took a little bit of research to get Gmail to work properly. What I found ultimately, the one that works the best is uh, SSL colon forward forward slash slash forward slash forward slash SMTP dot Google Mail dot com. All right. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, SMTP port. Uh, you can use a couple. Uh, the ones I found to work the best are 465 and 587. Generally, I use 587, but I just happened to do this uh, today, and it works just fine, so I'll stick with that. Uh, continuing on, now we need to enter our username and password credentials. So SMTP user, I've created a uh, sample email account just for this tutorial, and the username is going to be nettuts tutorials. Uh, at gmail.com and the password is smtp underscore pass let me take a look at my notes I called it that touch tutorials all right and that should be good for our configuration options so how do we attach these well in order to work with the email class we need to make sure that we load it correct we could either do that within the auto load page uh, right here, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, within the auto load libraries, we would do comma and type in email. However, I'm not going to do that just for now. Uh, here, we're just going to do this load library, and we're going to load 
the email library. But we want to pass our configuration options to this. So I can add that as the second parameter. So I'm just going to add config. All right. That's all. Uh, so now uh, this is kind of a weird little quirk. Uh, we need to do this email set underscore new line. And it needs to be within double quotes. So it's going to be backslash R backslash N. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm not exactly positive why this is necessary to set a new line. I do know that if you uh, try to send the email and you don't include this line, an error will be thrown. So if you guys do happen to know, leave a comment and let me and uh, the rest of the community know, because I'm actually curious about that one, why it's so necessary. Okay, for now, just include it and don't worry about it too much. So now let's set our from to subject message options. So this email, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy that since we'll be using it a bit. Uh, this email, who's it going to be from? Uh, we're going to send it from the sample e email address I created. All right, and we can do as a second parameter, we can type in uh, the person's name. So I'll do Jeffrey Way. Uh, the next one is going to be who's it to? Uh, let's just send it to ourselves for now. Sorry, I can't see my keyboard um, from this mic. Uh, the next one is going to be, uh, what's the subject? So subject, and we'll just say um, this is an email test. And finally, what is the message going to be? Now, we are, we are just hard coding this information in, but in the next tutorial, we're going to continue uh, – on with this and we're going to create a form to create you know maybe a contact form or an email newsletter or sign up form or something like that but for now I just want to show you the basics and we'll hard code uh, this stuff in and we're gonna say it's working Great. alright so we have our message uh, now we are I am going to show you how to uh, attach files as well but I'm gonna come back to that just let's just make sure this is working so we're going to do an if statement. We're going to say if this email send, we have to call the send method in order to get this working. So if uh, you type in all of this information up here, it's not working, check to make sure did you actually call the send method. So uh, when that when that is called, it's either going to return one for true, one for successful, or zero for false. So we're just basically saying if one or if true, if it was sent successfully, then let's just do something like uh, your, your email was sent full. All right, that looks good. And let's do an else statement. And if it was not sent successfully, we're going to call a code igniter uh, function. And it's called show underscore error. And here we can either type in a string or instead, in this case, we're going to do this email. And we're going to do print underscore debugger. And we're going to call that method. Okay, so it's easy to make mistakes when you're talking and a big mic's in front of your face, but I think this is correct. So let's go ahead to our page, and this is where we left off. We need to go to index.php. The name of our class is email, and if we want, we can hard, we, hard code. We can type in the name of the method, but as we know, index runs automatically. So let's click that, and we can see, all right, it does say there was an error encountered. Failed to authenticate the password. Okay, so it looks like I did type that in wrong. Um, let me check. NetTuts tutorials. It's, oh, it's NetTuts dash tutorials. All right, and let's come back. Refresh this page. Okay, good. And so your email was sent full, which means it ran successfully. And I think that's the new one, yep. So we click on that, show details, it shows us where it was from. Look, it takes care of all the MIME types so we don't have to worry about that. That's a, a really nice feature and here is our message. And it was mailed by Gmail, so good. Already, we're doing quite a bit, and if you really take a look at this, it might seem like uh, relatively a lot of code, but really, we're just setting a bunch of configuration options, setting from to subject and message, and calling send. It's very simple. Now what I wanna show you how to do is to send a file. Uh, let's say maybe a user signs up maybe for a membership plan or something like that and you want to send them uh, maybe a text file with uh, information of their account or something along the lines of that. How could we do that? Let's go within our root folder. I'm just going to create an arbitrary uh, folder name. Let's just call it uh, attachments. 
and within here let's create a new file and I'm just going to call this uh, your info.txt this is where the secret info goes all right let's save that and you know th that could be anything that could be um, that could be in I don't know it could be it could be an image or a file or something maybe they purchased to download I don't know but it could be anything you want so, you know, with regular PHP, it actually can be somewhat time-consuming to take care of uh, attaching files. It's, you know, kind of tedious work. It's not very fun. But CodeIgniter makes it much easier. So, how can we do that? Well, we have to do a couple things first. Uh, we can't just reference this URL as a, a relatively. We have to set it in reference to uh, the server root. So, what I generally do is, uh, within my config folder... Let's go ahead and access that right now. Application, config, and let's go into our right here. Uh, under the base URL, I create a new one. Remember, you can create configuration options of your own if you have something that you use often that you don't want to consist constantly reference. Uh, we can just add one right here. So you guys might have a better way. If you do, let me know. Uh, we can do config, and I'm going to call it server root. And that's going to be equal to uh, just a global uh, document just so I don't have to type it. And that will allow us to reference the path to the file from uh, the actual docu the server root. So let's come back. And now that we have X, now that we've created this uh, new key in our config array called server root, how can we gain access to that? And it's actually really easy. Let me, uh, let's do this. Let's create a new variable called path, and that's going to be equal to this. Now, this is how we reference it. This config, access the config class, and item. We're going to grab the value of one specific item, and within parentheses, we're just going to type in that key. In this case, it was server root. And now path will be equal to whatever that is. Right? And if you want, we could echo path. Just to see what that is. And there it is. So that is the path that we need. Obviously, when you upload this to your host, that's going to be different. Let's get rid of this. So now uh, let's create our file because we are we need to uh, create a variable that has the path specifically to the file. So let's create another one called file, just to keep things kind of clean. And we're going to say uh, the, it's going to be equal to the server root. And then we're also going to append, uh, once we get to the, the root, we need to add the path to your file.txt. So we're going to append, um, what is it, ci underscore day three. And then, uh, where is it? It's in the attachments folder. And the name of the file is your info.txt. Okay, so we're just going to CID3 is the name of my root folder, and then we're going to the attachments folder, uh, which is a subdirectory of that root, and then the name of the file. Right? So now we have a variable that points directly to the file that we want to attach. So how do we specifically attach the file? Well, that's even laughably easy. We're just going to do this, email, attach, and we just type in our variable. Done. We don't have to worry about MIME types. We don't have to worry about anything like that. Pretty neat, huh? So now, let's try it again. I might have made a mistake. You never know. Refresh. Your email was sent. Fool. Uh, come back. Click on it. And now you can see it was added. So let's view it. This is where the secret info goes. Fantastic. So look at this. I showed you in, what, 10, 15 minutes how to easily send emails, how to attach files. Now, with regular PHP, this would have taken much, much longer. Now, the final thing I want to show you today before uh, we call it a day is you don't always have to add the, these configuration options into uh, the function. If you want, you can auto-load it. And the way we can do that, actually, is to create a new file within our config folder, and we have to call it specifically email.php. And then within here, we need to um, just add our configuration options. And then that will automatically be applied when we work with the email class. It will first look to check to see, look to check to see if uh, this email.php config folder exists. If it does, it will just use those values. So I'm going to copy this. 
like so. And then we're going to come to our config email. And we're going to paste that in. We're not going to use it, but I'm just uh, going to paste them in for reference. And we just need to pass in our config options. But also, uh, of course, we want to make sure that people don't reference this, uh, this file. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that in. And it's just saying if somebody tries to access, access this file from the URL directly, we're going to exit and tell them you can't uh, directly access this script. All right. So let's go back to our config array. And now we can, we can add those keys. Protocol. And you know what? I'm just copying in the information here. So if you guys want to fast forward 30 seconds, uh, you're not going to miss anything. Some TP. Uh, next one is SMTP host, and that's going to be SSL, SMTP, Google Mail, nothing too exciting going on here. Uh, and other news while I'm doing this, I don't know if you guys know, but coming up in about two weeks is Envato's three-year anniversary. And I uh, can't tell you guys exactly what we have planned yet, but we have a ton of really fun stuff. Uh, giveaways and uh, big competitions and uh, you know kind of um, Mac heist like uh, giveaways SMTP pass and you'll get more information on that in the coming weeks okay I think that's all five that looks good I'm gonna get rid of this and now if we come back this is all gone so we've cleaned up this function a little bit and let's see if I made any other mistakes. So let's refresh the page. It still says your email is sent full. And let's come back. And there it is. Good. Good deal. So remember, only thing worth, if you're going to do that, remember you need to call it email.php and place it in the config folder. Otherwise, it's not going to work. But I like to do this, especially uh, probably for you guys. You're going to have the same credentials for all your emails. So it's kind of easy if maybe uh, you just copy that to, you know, your. Um, your, your code folder and you can just access that whenever you need to. So we've taken care of this. We've done a lot today. What are we going to do tomorrow? I'm sorry, not tomorrow, next week for day four. We are going to turn it into an actual form where the user will type in their email address. They will type in their subject and their message. And um, I'm not sure exactly what we'll do about attaching a file. We might do something. I have to think about that a little bit more. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying this, please be loud because if not enough people are watching it, I can't continue on. But I'm getting the feeling it's pretty popular. So um, I learn from you guys just as much as you learned from me. So uh, if you have any tips or how to improve this code, let me and the rest of the people know in the um, in the comments form. And of course, we always appreciate retweets and digs and stumble upons and any other um, acronym you can think of. So thanks so much, guys. I will see you for day four. Have a good day. Bye.